uh, you know, one of those small homes with a really good lady that's uh, addressing her needs. But they had written her off as dementia and psychosis and all this. And finally, she got back on the wagon, and I, I just ordered some BTT and sent it to her, this home that she's in. And within two weeks, she was her old self again. I mean, Isn't that amazing, incredible. R.C.? Praise God. That she's is 90 so... 90 years old. And, I've seen uh, it so many times. You know, I, R.C., I'm so glad you called, because I get the feeling when I talk about that, especially old folks in nursing homes, nobody benefits as much... At, or, or more than old folks in nursing homes when they start using the BTT. It should be standard me- a standard part of a, a nursing home regimen. And if it's not, at least we should be able to give our moms and dads and grandparents some BTT in the nursing home. Because what you're talking about, R.C., I've seen more times than I can count. Talk about Ted Anderson all the time. It's because of the B vitamins and the liquid nutrients. So how it took two weeks, you said, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> It was within two weeks. I mean, she was like, we couldn't even have a coherent conversation. Nobody could with her. And, and then, then two weeks? A couple of weeks later, yeah. ten days later, after she'd gotten on it, you know, I wasn't going to attribute it all to the BTC because this lady's feeding her really well. And Okay, and that's probably friend. helping. I mean, you know, but, but it obviously had something to do with it because it just uh, it got there and she started taking it and then she started wow. Uh, clicking on all cylinders again. I'm thinking, man, Gene, you're going to run out of your money now. <laughs> whatever, it's worth it to have her, her aunt or her, whatever it is, her mom, her mom back. That's you know, there's, that's priceless. That's oh, priceless. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she was loony. I mean, literally loony. Well, well you know. He- Here's the thing about that, R.C., you know, when, when somebody is, like you say, loony or, you know, cognitively impaired or has dementia in the nursing home, it's one thing for the, pa- for the caregiver to have to deal with it, but the patient themselves, the, imagine the quality of life of the patient. The patient can't communicate. The patient can't have a conversation or a relationship. So not only are you making it easier on the care or making it easier on the caretakers when you get get these folks, uh, nursing home patients on on the BTT, on a good nutritional supplement program, on bone soup. Not only are you helping out the caretaker, but the patient as well. The patient can now have relationships. The patient can the quality of life, the improvement in the quality of life for the patient, for your aunt. Oh, you know, talk to your aunt about what it's like for her to be on the oh, BTT. She, she what does she say? She says she has joy in her heart again because praise she's God. Like locked in a prison. I, is that not, not worth fifty? In her own mind. In is her, that not in worth? Her own bed. They wouldn't even let her out of a bed because they're afraid she was going to fall and all this. And now she's talking about using her walker and getting That's outside awesome. and walking. The lady takes her shopping and to church and to the awesome. store. And it's, it's fabulous, you know? That's awesome. It is. That's awesome. It's that, you a know joy what? that's priceless. That, that's, that's, that's not worth 50 bucks a month? Come on. You know? You know, Why are nursing homes not taking care of it? Why aren't nursing homes providing, uh, providing the BTT? Why aren't insurance companies paying for the Beyond Tangy Tangerine? And by the way, I don't know if anybody, uh, you know, this interests anybody, but I had a friend here in, uh, in Colorado who had the Medicaid is actually paying for his baby's BTT. His baby was born with a heart defect, and uh, they found that the BTT made a big difference, so the doctor wrote a prescription for the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and Medicaid is actually paying for the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So I don't know if anybody out there is interested. That helps anybody. But if your doctor oh, writes a prescription, okay. you know, if you can get your doctor to write a prescription for the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, at least in Colorado, Medicaid will pay for it, and who knows, maybe some insurance companies will pay for it, as well they should, because there's no drug. RC, listen to me. Do you think there's a drug on the planet that can do that for your aunt? Do you think that any drug that can do that, anything the doctor can do to do that? If a doctor is truly interested in the health of their patient and they see with their own two eyes what's happening to your aunt, they are derelict of their duty and their, uh, their Hippocratic oath not to write a prescription for the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Just look at R.C.'s aunt. You know, take her a, you know what you uh, cut, her, cut, cut back her prescriptions. That's fact, awesome. You know what you like should do? Eight or nine a day down to five. So if you. If you can, or if anybody listening can do this, if you do this experiment, you know, get your get your camera, your video camera, and your and your iPhone, and and do a little two minute or three minute or four minute or five minute video of your uh, Alzheimer's patient, mom or dad or grandparent or whoever, somebody you know, and then get them on the BTT for two weeks, and then do another two minute YouTube video and post it on Facebook. I am guaranteeing you, you're going to use a, notice a huge difference. As long as there's no, you know, no mechanical trauma or something like that, 
If it's strictly biochemical and the doctors can't figure out what's going on, it's dementia, and they say, oh, it's the plaques. Oh, it's the neural plaques. It's the fibrillary tangles in the brain. This is the dumbest thing. Doctors will say, oh, there's these little plaques in the brain, and that's what causes Alzheimer's disease. No, it doesn't. What's causing the plaques is the problem. Doctors will tell you it's the plaques that cause the Alzheimer's disease. Anyway, if you want to do that YouTube video, if you have a longevity business, do a YouTube video of the BTT. Go to a nursing home. Volunteer. Just go to a nursing home if they'll let you. And uh, uh, YouTube, do a, I'm sorry, uh, do a video and post it on YouTube. And then do one two weeks later after you get them on some BTT and watch what happens. Anyway, is that good, RC? Anything else you want to add? Yeah, just what I get every now and then on my left inside, I get like, the jock rot. I, I don't know why it comes in a That jock rot, I think you're talking about a fungal infection. That, that's more topical than anything else, although fungal infections systemically, internally, usually involve probiotics and good bacteria and digestion. RC, i got to motivate, buddy. I want to get this last phone call in, okay? Thanks, man. Right. Happy New Year, bro. Uh, we'll talk Happy to you soon. Happy New Year to you, Ben. Bye. Take care. Bye, RC. Okay, David in Texas. What's up, my man? Welcome to the Bright Side. Yeah, hey, good morning, Ben. How are you? This is a, a David at Austin. Are you the I David who, time. did you text me or email me a couple of days ago? Was that you? That was another guy. Uh, another David. I did text you, I think it was a week or so ago. Thank okay, you, you were very kind. Time. I think that was you who was very kind, I, and I, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I try to be. But anyway, um, yes. i got some questions. You know, I did call in uh, about a week ago or so, and I, I'm, a, I'm a success story. I'm a brave survivor. I've I remember that. Before. Yes, that was awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've had super good results with everything you've, you know, you've recommended the Deontan, uh, Tangy Tangerine, you know, the, the uh, probiotics enzymes. But you changed your life that. on your own. You changed your life on your own. No doctors. Unbelievable refer. change. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm a new man. It's I, I, I really do. I'm, I'm, I have so much strength and in, in mental well-being, and you know, it's, it's, I can hear it in your thing. voice. I can hear it yeah, in your I voice. Love it. Got about but a minute. Anyway, for, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, when I called in, you recommended. Uh, um, intravenous vitamin C. I was wondering, is that something I can do myself, or do I have to? Actually no, go and get that you can't done? do it yourself. You got to get, get hooked up. Um, okay. But there are naturopaths who will do it. You just lay down, and doctors who will do it even. You just lay down and relax, and they pump you with vitamin C and other nutrients if you like. Glutathione, selenium, the B-complex. There's something called the yeah. Myers cocktail, which they use for autoimmune diseases and cancers. Lots of different nutrients that are go. You know, you're putting it right in the blood. You're bypassing your, your digestive system and, um, and the liver, and it's really quite beneficial. If I had cancer, yeah, that would be one of the first things I did. David, I only got about reason, 20 seconds. I got yeah, to move it. The reason I ask is, is I'm, a, yeah, I'm taking about 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C right now. I'm it's a little bit different than that. Bit. David, I got to go, but call me tomorrow, man. We'll talk, okay? Thanks for your call. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.